the horn in honor of the sesquicentennial of the outbreak of the recent unpleasantness, otherwise known as the war between the states, otherwise known as the war of northern aggression, otherwise known as the civil war, the horn is proud to present this sesquicentennial horn history moment. We bring you now one of the lost letters of that man of sterling nobility, General Robert E. Lee. Receiving his letter from his beloved wife back in old Virginia, who wrote to General Lee as follows. My dearest Robert, I have news in my hand via the newspapers that you are doing things the Yankees never thought possible by our troops. I'm so very happy you are doing all you should and more to protect our southern homeland and wave life. Speaking of our homeland and lifestyle, it has come to my attention that you are all too fond of one negro woman that came to be your possession via your marriage to me. I shall be succinct and direct, Robert. If this attention given to the legs and ankles of one female slave by your eyes, I shall be, I shall be very disappointed, very disappointed. And, my dearest, if I become disappointed, my father becomes doubly so on my behalf. His wrath would extend to the placement of goods and chattels once mine and his before that in other hands than yours, darling Robert. I can't imagine that a man, a general so brave and so brilliant as to defeat the filthy Yankees, wants to lose his home and with it his status in the world over casual glances at a negress. Eternally, your loving and devoted wife, Martha. This has been a Civil War History Sesquicentennial Minute. Brought to you by the Horn, who reminds you, all this might be so much better if we'd only hanged that dirty, rotten old son of a bitch, Robert E. Lee. Tune in next week when we will read again from the lost letters, the hidden letters of General Robert E. Lee as he protests his innocence and the fact that there is no way that a six-year-old baby with a gray beard living on his plantation could possibly be his own. My dearest Martha, I recommend you sell that freak of nature quickly. I would write more, but I must away, as there's more Yankees yet to whoop. <laughs>